Hey y'all, it's Natalie for Spiegel Mom Scraps here today, and I am making a shaker pocket with this gorgeous collection called Pink Flamingo that my friend Sarah Scraps designed. It is bright pink and black, it looks like a flamingo, but it goes great with my beautiful black dog in her pink life jacket that you see there. So um, I cut out this tail um, of a mermaid. Um, it was a free file on Cricut and um, it had these lovely little cutouts in the fins. And so I chose um, a, a paper that looked a little bit like scales and then I kind of cut it upside down because obviously her tail is going out of the water upside down. And so now I'm tracing the top part of it on some white cardstock because I want to back the part where you can see through um, and make that a shaker pocket. So um, I've cut that down to um, be just where it will nestle inside the um, outside lines of the cut file. And now I have my Spiegel Mom Scraps acetate sheet as well as the Big Mama Foam Roll. And so I'm gonna use the acetate sheet to do the same as I did with the white cardstock. And I'm gonna cut around just the um, top fin of the tail to be the exact same shape um, so that it will hold in the sequins. So um, I'm using my tearaway tape first to adhere down the acetate to the cut file cardstock. And I love to do this because the tearaway tape is so easy and obviously you tear it away, you don't use scissors. So I can like bend it to fit all the way around the shape, which it's not so important for the um, acetate, but for um, the foam tape, when you are building basically what holds your sequins in, you need to make sure to encase every area so that sequins can't escape out of like a little corner that you didn't add adhesive, if that makes sense. So now I'm just trimming off any excess um, acetate that might be sticking out. And um, it was a little bit staticky, so it wanted to like suck it in and you have to like be the boss and be like, science, no, I'm going to control where this acetate goes. So now I'm using the Big Mama Foam Roll to go around the edge of the cut file, just like I did with the tearaway tape but because it's a little fat, sometimes in some places I have to like trim her down, um, right down the middle. You'll see here in a second, I'll show you the finished product. There you see, I have some skinny bits and that's just like a piece that I trimmed straight down the middle to um, fit because the cut file edges were a little bit thin. So I pulled all of the adhesive backing off and now I'm gonna fill it with sequins and it, it goes a little awry. Some of the sequins like stick to the tape, but it's fine. We work it out in the end. I should have used a spoon is what I should have done. That is like the easiest way to do it. Like a really skinny little spoon and fill in the area without trying to get any sequins on the adhesive, but it worked out. Um, I make sure that my white cardstock matches up with the backside and I stick it down, smoosh it down, meets the foam and boom, all those sequins are trapped inside the mermaid tail forever. And that's a story, a children's story right there. <laughs> so I love the way that looks. I love those pink flamingo sequins and they work so well with these photos of my pup, Belle. She's a mini golden doodle. And my husband bought her this outrageous mermaid life jacket when we went down to the lake one day and she was not a fan, to be honest. So I trimmed down the pink stripe paper. That's a We Are Memory Keepers line from a long time ago. And now I'm gonna um, ink up the edges in black and then I'm gonna put them on the background um, paper, which is the same paper that I used to cut out the tail. Um, and I just want the edges to peek out and give me a little pop of black. I'm also gonna ink up that shaker tail as well. <laughs> so now I'm gonna um, glue down all the edges and then on the side where there's not a cutout, I'm gonna add an extra adhesive to hold the paper down. But I do get a little of the adhesive showing through the cutout. So I just grabbed a little piece of cardstock and stuck it over the sticky bit so it wouldn't be um, sticking to like the other page and my page protector when I put it in my album. So I'm happy with how that looks. I'm liking it here. I'm gonna um, back the photos in white cardstock. Actually, it looks like I've already done that at this point. And um, my title is going to be Undercover Mermaids. So I have these lovely black um, puffy alphas from Citrus Twist Kits. And I'm just kind of laying it out to see how I want it to look. Undercover mermaid, because that's what she was. <laughs> and now I'm gonna make a journaling block because I wanna talk a little bit. I have something to say about these photos. So I'm gonna use these Heidi Swap stamps. They're from the Stamp Society. I'm not sure what month it was. 
recently though. I just subscribed at the beginning of the year. So I'm gonna use one of these tag stamps and I'm gonna ink it up in black and then I'm gonna um, add in a few um, icons and words in the pink up there, the picked raspberry. And then I'll do my journaling. I think I do it in black, yeah. So um, when I'm making like journaling spots, which is something I do a lot with these Heidi Swap stamps, I like to use as many icons as I use words a lot of the times, um, which is hard because a lot of stamp sets don't come with as many icons. So I found these paw prints and now I'm masking up this mermaid stamp. I have these little like mermaid dolls, but um, I only want her tail. So I just covered her up with washi, the part that I don't want, and then I'll ink it up. And then I remove the tape before I stamp it down and only the part that I inked will show, which will be the tail. So I'm loving how that looks. Um, the last thing I add is love this and make, I like to overlap the stamp with the icon sometimes and you can still read it, but it just kind of gives a look like it's meant to be there. Almost like it was like a printed die cut more than a stamped image. So I'm just gonna cut that out and um, I add a hole and a little piece of ribbon and it's like a journaling tag that I made myself. So that will house my journaling there about how Belle felt about her life jacket. <laughs> she didn't like it. We actually let her go down in the creek recently with um, out a life jacket on and she did much better. And I don't know if it's just that she's becoming less timid because we started taking her out a lot more or if she just didn't like the life jacket, but she's gonna wear the life jacket to be safe. So the area we were in was just like a splash zone anyway, like very shallow, so that was fine. Maybe we'll just take her to shallow areas from now on. So I didn't pop up the rest of that tail on foam because I did like how it nestled down nicely behind the photos. And so I didn't um, pop it up to meet the rest of the shaker, but I normally would. But then I went how to pop up my photos and there was a lot of popping up. So we just decided to lay flat, be a little 2D today. So I'm gonna start sticking down the title. It's, um, I, I put down a couple letters and then I decide that I need my T-square ruler. So I grab that. Um, I'm not normally a stickler for super straight things, but sometimes like when everything on the page is wonky, it's nice to have the title be not wonky. So I use my T-square ruler to line that up and I did it with the top line as well. Um, Undercover Mermaid, I'm loving how that looks. I like how it overlaps the shaker tag and the photo. So it kind of brings all the items on the page together. I'm gonna add down my journaling block. And then I'm gonna grab some sticker sheets and add in a few embellishments as well as some um, sequins to finish it up. And this page, I normally, I, I, not normally, but pretty often I have a lot of mixed media on my page. So this page has no mixed media. The longest part of the page was putting together the shaker pocket, but it was super fun. And to be honest, the raw footage was about 35 minutes. So this page came together in 35 minutes. So literally anyone can do this. Um, anyone, anyone, anyone. So make sure you check out my affiliate link down below for Speaker Mom Scraps store. You will get a discount if you use my affiliate link. And these um, pink flamingo sequins are on pre-order right now. And they are so cute. You definitely should add them into your summer stash. And I'm just gonna sprinkle them around the page just like I sprinkled like a few uh, hot pink and black stickers. And I think that's gonna finish it up. Check out the links down below. And I also on, should be on the Spiegel Mom Scraps Instagram page today. And if you're not in our Facebook group, there's a lot of fun going on over there. So I'll link that down below too. And let's see, we're about to finish it up with some sequins at the top. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I would love it if you'd like and subscribe. Bye y'all.